hello everyone i i believe that you have given your best in appsc group 2 prelims which was conducted today so i feel the paper was uh, from moderate to little bit tougher so in this session we'll first try to cover the current affairs section then we'll discuss the cut off etc so the question first about the current affairs talks about the mill and exercises which was conducted in uh, visakhapatnam see here this is the 12th edition of exercise so which was held under the aegis of southern naval command so it was under the aegis of eastern naval command because it was conducted under the in the in the origin of visakhapatnam so the first statement itself is wrong second one whether it is a harbor phase or the sea phase the dates which they have given is quite different <coughs> so which does not uh, match the present dates which was recently conducted in the month of february and january so here if you could see the first statement itself is wrong because it was conducted in the eastern under this eastern naval command and the sea phase which was somewhere in february 24th and the harbor phase was from 19 to 23 so considering this uh, the first uh, the 91st that is the first current affairs answer will be the none of the above so it is more over the factual question but uh, the first statement you can eliminate this directly with this common sense making use that it comes under the eastern naval command second one which is 92nd question which country has officially declared the snow leopard so even these we have i have posted i mean directly in the Uh, the telegram channel the if you if you read the title itself it's quite enough the title itself of this uh, link which state which we posted in telegram channel is uh, snow leopard which is enigmatic big cat of high asia now national symbol of kyrgyzstan so that's the link we posted uh, it's a directly a title so it's a question it directly says about uh, the uh, snow leopard has been acting as a national symbol so answer is the kyrgyzstan next husavik exploration museum seen in the news recently belongs to which country again there is a direct link like isro awarded the this ericsson luna prize for its chandrayaan 3 india's third mission to the moon so this award is given by okay husavik iceland so this is associated with iceland next one see uh, this is the question i like directly posted in my app that was actually related to vijayawada but this is a question which is actually the opposite of that which states that it is not vijayawada it is vizak or visakhapatnam has been awarded so visakhapatnam railway station of east coast railways has been awarded the green railway station certification with highest rating of platinum by igbc so here it has been awarded by igbc for adopting the green concepts and it is also the third railway station to get this distinction after sikandrabad and jaipur so for the next coming exams you can actually go through this second statement which of the following have been awarded the as per the ranking etc so in this uh, as both of the statements are been starting with vijayawada so it is not vijayawada it is rather it is visakhapatnam next which among the following countries got the membership into the brics block with effect from 1st january 2024 see look at this is a link which we have posted in the telegram channel which states very clearly argentina is exiting the brics so if you can eliminate argentina which is statement number 2 you can easily eliminate two statements two answers that is 1 and 2 so the question is about now 1 3 5 and 1 4 5 the 5 is common one is common so you have to go through the 3 and 4 in 3 see even indonesia was not part so in such cases we can say egypt ethiopia and saudi arabia the fourth one is a correct answer in this see i'm not going into directly into the detail of the every topic you should understand this is just a key discussion in case if it is required i'll post a video which will discuss a detail analysis of every question india skills report 2024 let us see it is the maharashtra uttar pradesh and kerala are the top 3 states with uh, the highest availability of talent under the computer skills so obviously uh, statement 1 is true karnataka is most preferred state so here uh, will will be taking one more uh, statement statement number which says that telangana has the highest concentration of employment talent that is from 18 to 21 which is also correct which says the statement 3 is correct next 
Kerala is the most preferred state. Kerala is the most preferred state to work for both males and females. So, with Cochin being the most preferred area to work for the female test takers. So, statement two is incorrect because he has asked it as an Karnataka rather it is a Kerala. So, you eliminate two. When you eliminate two, you only have the answer which is third one. Third is the right answer for this. One, three and four. Pick out the odd pairs, he says. It's a very factual question. Basically, it's a GK question. So, I have posted uh, who are those, the presidents. He's been since 2024. He's been since 14. And uh, based on this, you just look at the fact. Joseph Bokai is a Liberian president. Okay, Liberia, uh, Syria, Leonia. Liberia, Syria, Leonia is a right answer actually. Liberia and Sierra Leonea. Sierra Leonea itself is uh, one of the country. So he has attached it with Liberia. So you take the case of uh, Guatemala. Guatemala itself is, uh, he, he says the president is Bernardo Arivalo, but he has given Fernandez Perez Molina. So one is wrong. So when you eliminate, you know the answer. It is going to be the second one. So he is since 2014. This is one standard uh, answer because you can easily guess the two is very common two is a very correct answer actually so you have to uh, eliminate the pick out the odd pairs so anyways two is a correct pair so you cannot pick the two there so first second has to be removed and answer has to be between one and three and one and four so one and three and one and four so in this one is anyways wrong so it should be three or four when you take uh, three or four so if we take the congo so it is definitely the correct answer because felix uh, is the president of congo so it has to be four because Sierra Leone itself is a country i told you so liberia and Sierra Leone are different countries so he has tried to confuse you so answer has to be one and four uh, which is the first south asian nation to formally register the same sex marriage it is the nepal next one Consider the following statements about the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and uh, uh, Disarmament and the Development for 2023. See, uh, the music conductor Daniel Barham and the peace activist Ali Abu Awad who have uh, worked to promote amity among the Israeli and Palestinian people have been jointly awarded as this award. So, this is, this is one very proper statement. Okay which uh, states that both the individuals have performed contributing to the uh, the you know the like among the promote amity between the Israel and the Palestinian people now international jury has been chaired by the chief justice of india that is the thakur so he has uh, he has he has given here the statement which is the statement uh, here he has given like chief justice of india RM Dodha. So, this is not the correct answer. It is JS Thakur is the correct answer. So, the third statement is also wrong. But in the first case, that is the music conductor Daniel Barham and a peace activist. There's a two important set of people have been introduced. But uh, here it has been in the development of the Sri Lanka, the crisis, etc. But it is not wrong. It is not correct because it is going to be Israeli and the Palestinian people. So, one and three has to be wrong so answer has to be the third one next which among the following has been the rare natural uh, phenomena is going to happen in 2024 after 221 years so what is that going to happen they like after 2021 the rare event which is going to happen is double cicada explosion so what is that we'll read now people in us are set to witness a natural phenomenon that hasn't happened okay since so many years in a rare occurrence billions of cicadas from two different broods are set to emerge together from the underground. It is estimated that billions of cicadas will emerge from underground in the rare event happening. So this is a direct question and also this environmental related aspect he has asked in the current affairs. Which among the following are incorrectly paid with regard to such uh, such Sarvekshan Awards 2023? So here are the awards like Best Safai Mitra that goes to uh, Chandigarh actually, but uh, he has given uh, Prayagraj. So he has given Prayagraj that isn't correct. And uh, and uh, cleanest 
Ganga town rank two is Prayagraj. Statement two is itself is wrong because he has interchanged. That is, he has given us Varanasi. So three and four. So he is asking you which of the following are incorrectly. So that has to be one and two. Two are one and two are incorrect statements. Identify the incorrect statements regarding PM Vishwakarma Yojana scheme. So here the government of India has launched this scheme to provide end-to-end -end support to the fishermen. It is not about the fishermen. See, it is for the collateral free loans. I have clearly written here. So this is for what purpose? This is for those purpose where the set of people like uh, who are actually involved like artisans etc. So that's the one lakh has been two lakhs has been given to the made available. And uh, this is some sort of digital transaction promotions also. So this is for those set of people who can actually promote the art, architecture, etc., traditional acts, etc., artisans and the craftsperson. So it is not for the fishermen. Next, it is being given six lakhs in two trenches. No, it is being given first in the one lakh and the second one in the two lakhs trenches. So both the statements are incorrect. So I have posted this. I pasted this actually in. Uh, the, uh, my telegram channel also if you would have go through that have a chance to look and get some understanding on the question so take the question number uh, question number 103 Dr. Talavaj Hala Patanjali Sastri was confirmed with the Sahitya Academy Awards so let us see he is asking about the incorrect statements so Patanjali Sastri uh, the Telugu okay so for Telugu language for his uh, poetry so Vajrala Vana, that is the short stories to Chadula Babu, and that was uh, Vivechani criticism for Johnny Takdati Silla. This is the next one. So, what are the short stories? Just to go through this. He is asking about the incorrect statements. Here, what are the incorrect statements? So, the second one, second one, if you look at, second one, uh, the third one, Johnny. Takdarasila, he has been given for uh, Devara. So, anyways, this is uh, third statement itself is wrong. And Chadula Babu was conferred for uh, uh, Vajralavana. That is also the correct statement. That is second one is correct. When second is correct, so only thing which is incorrect which is left is the third one. Okay, because uh, the third one, uh, the third one, is the correct one. Take question number 103. Tallavaj Hala Patanjali Sasri was confirmed with the Sahitya Academy Awards 2023 in Telugu language for his poetry and uh, poetry collections. It was actually for short stories. Short stories. So one is anyways wrong. And uh, DK Chadwala Babu, see I have added here DK Chadwala Babu has been given to Vajrala Vana which is a short story. So Vajrala Vana it is a short story so this is actually the correct statement so two cannot be wrong so when you eliminate two so only three uh, which is left is the third statement which is going to be the uh, wrong because one and three are actually wrong i have also added uh, what is that johnny takdir silla has added this is on a vivechani that is a criticism in which state was a law guarantee it is actually haryana because this was much in news like uh, a 75% reservation for the local residents in the private sector struck down by the High Court because it was unconstitutional. Next, consider the following statement. The Global Liver City uh, Alliances led by the National Mission for a Clean Ganga under the Minister of Jal Shakti was held in COP28. You can easily eliminate because that was held in Abu Dhabi. 
okay so one is anyways wrong when one is uh, one is wrong so only statement which is left is the fourth one which is two and three so because uh, you can look at the, the global rival alliances led by national ginga under the majors of uh, jal shakti government of india was launched in cop 28 uh, that is what that held in dubai so remaining two statements are the quite correct statements next identify the incorrect statement so question paper like you should be habituated like wherever uh, they are correct and incorrect are like completely jumbled so identify the incorrect statements among the following so you have to look at this indian woman hockey captain shushila chanu won the uh, like uh, best goalkeeper of the year award at the international hockey federation hockey star awards 2023 so who is been awarded that let me read now the best goalkeeper award goes to savita punia so the third statement itself is wrong when the third statement is uh, wrong see you can eliminate so answer uh, answer anyways he is asking a third statement so most of the statements which is inclusive of the third next icc emerging playing is rachin ravindra so this was actually he performed well in quite world cup so this person it was not shubham gill has been awarded as emerging it was rachin ravindra so this is again the wrong statement so third in a combination with four so only the third statement is correct here so it is 3 and 4 in which part of andhra pradesh is india's first largest private gold mine was located so in this i have picked up from the newspaper india's first large private gold mine to begin full scale production by end of the next year that is called as deccan gold mines so this is actually uh, in uh, tuggali mandalam in kannur district of andhra pradesh so direct question this is tuggali mandal of uh, kannur district andhra pradesh next which among the following is again correctly so there's lot of questions which are in combination with incorrect so vyasar navodayam scheme directly we'll see uh, which creates a new ecosystem for the msmes but he has directly given in uh, uh, transportation this is directly we have discussed from the survey in our regular classes the center of excellence for vegetables and spices under the indo israel agriculture products were proposed to be set up in uh, it was actually set up in a palnadu district even this we discussed in survey classes so center of excellence for vegetables and spices held at the palnadu district of andhra pradesh which country was certified as the malaria free by the who so it is actually cabo verde so who certifies cabo verde as a malaria free making as a historical milestone in the fight against the malaria it's is like morocco it is cabo verde next statement consider the following statements regarding the ninth asian winter games sir so ninth asian is definitely asking you about now the correct statements so correct statement the ninth asian was held in beijing so it was actually look at here was held in harbin in china so it is not beijing so this is actually wrong so when it is wrong one is wrong and three is also wrong so we are left with two two is quite common and three or four will read now now we'll read the will read the fourth one on january 11 2024 the emblem of ninth uh, uh, asian winter games 2025 breakthrough was officially launched see it was bin bin and nini the adorable tigers mascot the third statement is wrong just look at there so bin bin and nini so the names itself are given wrong so third when it is wrong only thing is four which is going to be correct now here there is also the theme will read now breakthrough was officially announced so <clears throat> so the the theme is quite different because the official slogan was quite different what he has given so even here here official slogan was quite different so even two is uh, we can also take the second statement that is is correct but the other combination is wrong so answer has to be 2 and 4 according to interpol directly because it was quite the which uh, state police has registered one of the first cases in india of the human trafficking committed to force victims to commit cyber fraud that was actually held in telangana according to interpol telangana police registered one of the first cases in india of human trafficking committed for the purpose of forcing victims to commit cyber fraud that was actually given in the hindu paper 113 match the following that is list 1 and list 2 with regard to arjuna awards so i have given according to this answer fourth is the correct next i have also given the people who, because this is directly gk question there is nothing much to 
get into it which among the following eminent personalities has been conferred with the padma shri award 2024 for their contribution and achievement in the field of arts is asking so shri drona buyan assam is quite correct so one is quite correct and shri gulam nabi dar art uh, jammu and kashmir gulam nabi dar jammu and kashmir this is also correct and uh, shri rajaram jain literature and education uttar pradesh so rajaram jain uh, rajaram jain third one is not correct so when third one is not uh, correct you have to eliminate two and the four so remaining is one and three so one and uh, three so anyways gulam nabi there is correct so it has to be 1 2 and 4 so yes sri darsi kondappa is also there so fourth one is also correct so this actually i posted in telegram channel also the same thing global uh, biofuel alliances was launched on 9th september uh, during the g20 summit which among the following non g20 countries are supporting this so here what are the non uh, G20 countries which are supporting here i have written the list so along with the leaders of singapore bangladesh italy uh, usa brazil argentina mauritius and uae has launched this uh, which were not i mean like part of that but still they were quite active in supporting so looking at the list we can easily eliminate the answer the government of gujarat it says to launch the country's first submarine tourism in collaboration with it is actually mazgaon docks ship builders limited which among the following is an initiative by the government of karnataka in collaboration with ai gdf with special emphasis on gaming and social media so it is actually digital detox karnataka government in collaboration with all india game developers forum will launch a digital detox initiative what is the theme of international day of education this was quite important such themes are very much important in the exam learning for the lasting peace learning for the lasting peace option number 3 next consider the following statement india's first national highway steel slag road section is on nh66 mumbai goa national highway so first national highway steel were planned in no mumbai goa national highway so one is quite correct next steel slag road technology developed by csir so it is actually developed by csir this is also actually developed by csir so what the statement he has given quite wrong so answer uh, has to be only one okay see uh, looking at this what i believe is they were in the exam it looks very easy now but in the exam it is uh, going to be little bit hectic for you to eliminate uh, the correct fact so here i feel even the current affairs few of them were direct but few of them were not so uh, current affairs includes many areas but uh, i think they were very wide questions which were covered in current affairs so looking at this i feel the cut off will not be so easy i mean like it will not be high it will be going to be very moderate 